It's the dream of a wonderful life in a perfect world. A world not unlike this one, a small town somewhere in America. This is Stockbridge, Massachusetts. It might seem almost too perfect, but it represents an idealized America, based not on chasing the dollar, but on goodness, decency, shared troubles, and human dignity. And it had its own painter, a man called Norman Rockwell. For more than 40 years, Rockwell's pictures were an almost weekly feature of life in the United States, delivered to the doorsteps of the millions of families who read magazines like the Saturday Evening Post. It's a benevolent, comforting myth of America as a place where people always help each other, where the sick are cared for, and there's always someone looking out for you. It's a tonic for the white middle class, the vision of a world where family always gets together at Thanksgiving, and there's always a 20 pound turkey on the table. The Rockwell Museum draws huge numbers of patriotic American visitors, people who are nostalgic for that old dream of their nation and find it reflected back in these meticulously painted single frame stories. Stephanie Plunkett is the museum's curator. Stockbridge doesn't seem to have changed a great deal. <laughs> Stockbridge is very much the same. That's really part of its, its charm. So I think of Rockwell in a sense, as an artist who paints a kind of ideal America. I think he once said, my subject is America as I would like it to be, rather than as it is. But what do you think the values that he tried to capture, what are those values? I think Rockwell saw the best in us. His art is absolutely aspirational. And he was really showing an America that I think represented the best possible human qualities. Uh, ideas about kindness and care and community. It didn't have to be a big event to be important. It could be a small moment in life. And in fact, he said, I was painting the America I knew and observed for others who might not have noticed. I have a sense that there are certain groups that are not included in the Rockwell Idyll or that they just, they simply don't figure. I mean, I imagine that that Thanksgiving dinner, that table could go on forever yes. this way. But would a black face ever appear at that table? Isn't that something slightly troubling about the exclusiveness of Rockwell's small town paradise? Rockwell felt very strongly about human rights. He, human dignity for all and equality. He would have loved to introduce those figures. And in fact, the publications of the era really did not allow that. Uh, the Post generally had an unwritten rule that said that if people of co color were portrayed, they would be portrayed in service positions. Oh, so this is really, uh, in a sense, his own sensibility slightly being forced into that box. Yes. As beautiful yeah. as his paintings are, they were created for mass publication. Mm. And the publications each had their own structures uh, that guided what they would show. So there's more going on under the surface of these images than you might at first imagine. Look closely and you really can glimpse some of the cracks in the American dream, even though Rockwell does his best to conceal them.